what we need is a cart to start with, and then I ride it. And we have a giant balloon, and then I go. Do you have a giant balloon? <laughs> Step one, uh, Sarah blows up the balloon. Okay. Use this air compressor, it'll probably be a lot faster. Okay, human-sized balloon power car test. Take one. All right, Sarah. You got it? Yeah. Okay, let it go. Let it go, go. Let it go. <laughs> you did. You did let it go. I let go. Nothing is happening. It's not coming out fast enough, and you're a bit too massive. I don't think it's gonna work like this. Really? Yeah. Okay, uh, balloon powered car test two. No fill. I'll just take it. And... <laughs> what happened? Uh, I don't think it worked. The plan now is to use the compressed gas cylinder. Just like a balloon, these cylinders contain a lot of air. If we get a cart and put a gas cylinder in a cage for safety on the back and open the valve, the escaping air might have enough force to push me. So I'm gonna sit on here, Sarah's gonna turn on the tank, and I'm gonna go. And before we do this, we should say, do not, under any circumstances, try this at home. We are trained professionals. You ready? I'm ready. Okay, high five first. Okay, now we do it. Okay, so before I turn the tank on, make sure your feet are down and the brakes are on. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, it did work, but I feel I feel like it could work better. You want to go faster? I do want to go faster. This reminds me of the rock car. Yeah. Well, we didn't have a big enough balloon. We need more force. We need more force. So should we get a bigger tank? Let's get more tanks. More, more tanks, more force. You're going to go faster forward. Newton's third law. Newton's third law. High five. All right, let's do it. The plan now is to do two things. First, we're going to triple the amount of thrust by using three tanks. We're also gonna use some pipes that lock into each other to give me an initial push. These pipes slide together, and when the air is turned on, the pressure in the pipes will cause them to slide apart, which will push me forward. After that, I use what's left in the tanks to keep going. All right, well, are you guys ready? I'm ready. All right, let's do it. Now, again, I have to say, thank you, Corey, I've got it. This is something you definitely don't want to try at home. We are all trained professionals. We have a physics degree here. We've got TV people that make sure that this is safe. So uh, watch it and enjoy, but please don't try any of this at home. Okay, I'm ready. Sarah, count me down. Three, two, one. <laughs> that was awesome! That was really awesome! All right, high fives, high fives! Yeah, 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 yeah! <laughs> and it's raining now, so it looks like we're gonna have to stop. So thank you very much for joining us on Science Mac Experiments at Large in our episode on Newton's Third Law. <laughs> My name is Phil, and I take your everyday science experiments and do them big. This is Science Max, experiments at large. <laughs>